Hello everyone, my hero presentation is on David Jonathan. My title is Hero of Technology Mind Tools, and let's get started. Okay, if you want to know why I chose David Jonathan, I chose him as, as my top choice because of how ambitious he was in the field of instructional design and technology. He went from being a behind the scenes camera guy to being directly involved with the creation of educational learning videos and programs. I believe that we are a lot alike in that he was doing a job that he somewhat enjoyed and then that kind of springboarded him into his lifetime career. Now I'd like to introduce you to David Jonathan. Hello everyone, I'm David Jonathan. I'd like to begin talking to you a little bit about my background. I earned a bachelor's degree in finance and also a master's degree in elementary education from the University of, of Delaware. I also earned a doctorate in educational media and educational psychology from Temple University. After graduating, I also took a job at the University of North Carolina in Greensboro in the Library Science Educational Technology Department. I basically wanted someone to teach, uh, basically wanted to teach educational television. Also did a lot of text design research. I also did a lot of text design research and which also began my research in instructional design. I was very curious about what you could do with media and uh, which kind of led to my constructivist theories. I was best known for my work on constructivist learning and computers as mind tools. Also how teaching higher order thinking skills, combining constructivist principles with computer re related technologies can help overall learning. And also being one of the leading experts in the field of instructional technology. If I had to give a theme to this overall presentation, it would be, if I had to give a theme to this overall presentation, I would say changing roles of technology to transform the learning process. That's basically my philosophy. As far as major publications go, I believe that if you want to be known in academia, you should publish or perish. Over the 40 years that I've been involved in academia, I've written 37 books, 182 journal articles, 67 book chapters, as well as many other publications. I've also listed some of the major ones below. If you want to get to know me a little bit better, some things I do in my spare time, which I don't have much of or I didn't have much of. I enjoyed uh, mountain climbing with my wife. Uh, we would climb mountains all the time and it was very fun and relaxing time for us and gave me a chance to just get outside and enjoy the outdoors. A lot of people have said that I need to walk around with a big C on my chest because of my work in constructivism. So that would be a nice little t-shirt I guess I should wear around. Also here are a couple of uh, books and articles that you should read if you want to get to know me better. If I had to give uh, some advice for other instructional designers I would just say that basically if you aren't able to articulate how your learners are supposed to think, then you really have no business designing instruction for them. I know that kind of seems harsh, but um, that's just what I think. Also, people assume or believe that students learn from the technology, and that's simply not true. Students learn from thinking. And if the technology can help people think better, then so be it. People have asked me who um, some other significant people have been in my career, 
and uh, some of the traditional theories of idea um, that I've learned through I instructional design. Some of the traditional theories of instructional design have been through Gabrielle Salomon, uh, which was a professor of, of University of Tel Aviv, a very brilliant guy, and was basically on the forefront of our field. A um, few others, uh, Jean Leib and Barbara Ragolf, basically influenced my thinking. Uh, Jim Wirch, uh, Washington University of St. Louis, and also Bob Hayek was very in influential. Last but not least, Diane Kuhn was uh, the teacher of the College of Columbia, and she's done years of work on argumentation, and I've drawn many of these works that she's produced to help inspire uh, my own works. I'm going to pass the mic back to Kathy Morgan now. Thank you. Okay, now that you guys have talked to David Jonathan, um, let's talk a little bit about why I chose him and if I think he's a hero or not. Um, I believe that David Jonathan was a real great and accomplished man. He, um, I truly think that his developments in his career helped shape shape instructional design into what it is today. Um, I learned that you could basically go a long way with hard work and dedication no matter where you begin and this can always help you help lead you to your path um, in your destiny in whatever career field you choose. Thank you and I hope you've enjoyed.